Here's a real quick developer's blog, just taking a look at something I've been uh, poking away at over the past few weeks, which is getting snow to accumulate on the cliff rocks overlooking the Lamar Valley. The shader we've been using for that is real good, but it doesn't support dynamic snow. And fortunately, another shader that we've been using for the terrain, that developer, Jason Booth, has been working on that and adding it so it works on meshes as well with all the cool features that we use in the terrain, like dynamic snow. So been switching over to using that shader, which has a lot of advantage in itself. It just it lets you mix multiple textures more uh, readily. It has techniques that you have real high resolution textures up close, but the rocks also look good at medium and far distances. It's just a great thing. We've got some really nice looking cliff rocks now. I'm really happy with how these are shaping up. Let me trigger a snowstorm here. The snow will accumulate on it. And that's just that extra touch that a lot of people noticed. Hey, why is there no snow on the, on the cliff rocks? Well, there will be in the next update. Another thing I tweaked here, looked out my backyard when it was snowing last week and thought, you know, it, <laughs> your visibility is really bad when it snows. You just, it just drops down. So I actually had set this properly, but there was some other setting that was interfering. And so the fog uh, when it snows was really quite far away. So I tweaked that so now it feels much more like a snowstorm. So let's run around here a little bit, get some views of these rocks. So still some tweaking to do, always tweaking to do, but it's coming together. I think uh, it's going to add a lot if you like to hang out on the cliffs during those snowstorms and really appreciate the vastness of the Lamar Valley and Specimen Ridge and Amethyst Mountain. Now this is not available yet, it'll be coming in the next update, uh, but what is available now, in case you missed the announcement earlier this week, is the WolfQuest original soundtrack and music extras pack. We updated it with all the new tracks from WolfQuest Anniversary Edition. Over an hour of new music, 22 new tracks. That's about two hours of music total we added to the existing pack. So it makes a great gift for yourself or for a WolfQuest player that you know. Where do you get it? Check the links in the description below to Steam and Itch.io. Or just go to this URL. And happy holidays, everyone.